Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. As always, it seems, we have a whole bunch of news to talk about so much that I'm deciding to split this up into two different FNAF news videos. In this first video, we're going to be talking about some FNAF movie details, which is very exciting, some merchandise news about Hex plushies, as well as the brand new Liberty Chica plushie, some book news, and interestingly enough, maybe a brand new FNAF attraction coming very soon. And to get you hyped up, in the next video, we're going to be talking about some YouTube's news. We got a whole bunch of YouTube's news teasing brand new products coming in the future, as well as some updates on the fanverse games Pop Goes arcade and the joy of creation so hit the like button if you're new subscribe so you don't miss out on any fnaf news and let's kick this video off by talking about the books so the brand new tales from the pizzaplex book series draws closer each day and actually some people are getting the book early and they're writing proper reviews about it now i am actually going to do a whole separate video talking about two very in-depth reviews of the first book tales from the pizzaplex but i wanted to throw this review in quickly because it's from someone as far as i'm aware outside of the fnaf community it's also not too too long so if you want to pause the video give it a read go ahead it basically just gives a bit more information about each story in the book but like i said there will be a whole separate video talking about Lally's game more in depth with proper reviews by people actually in the FNAF community coming soon. Sticking with the book news, we got the official cover for the Fazbear Frights graphic novel collection volume 2, and uh, wow! <laughs> Nice to see you, Minorinas. And also, we got some previews for the stories in the book. One preview for each story. You got Fetch, Room for One More, and The New Kid. In the first preview, you have Greg beating up Fetch. I'm pretty sure this is towards the end of the story, though I haven't actually read Fetch. In the preview for Room for One More, you have who I'm pretty sure is Stanley, and it looks like this is the Nurse Ballora and the doctor is a minorina. You know, sometimes I'm glad I haven't read some of these stories. <laughs> and the final preview, you have um, the new kid, which is the story I know the least about <laughs> out of these three stories, so I don't even know the main character's name. But it looks like they're in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza investigating the golden Freddy suit. And you can see Bonnie, Freddy, and Chica up on stage. Now, unfortunately, I've seen a lot of people kind of criticize the, the art of the books, which is very disappointing. Um, because it's not the artist's fault. I know for a fact that Scholastic has very, very rough deadlines. Absolutely terrible deadlines that make the artist have to rush through the book and illustrate super fast, so I'm just saying don't go after the artist. If anything, go after Scholastic. But that is a look at the second volume of the Fazbear Frights graphic novel collection. Some quick merchandise news, we've got a brand new shirt exclusive to Hot Topic. As you can see, the shirt is pink with the Fazcade logo on it, as well as Freddy's head icon. It's a pretty nice shirt, I like it, I bought it. And now let's talk about Hex. So not too long ago, the Fredbear and Spring Bonnie Hex plushies released on May the 13th. So they're up on the store, 50 bucks each if you want to go cop them. If you do get two, I'd recommend getting the bundle. It has free shipping. But that is not all of the Hex news we have because we actually got a teaser for what the Toy Freddy plushie is gonna look like. So wave one, you got the FNAF 1 characters. Wave two, Fredbear and Spring Bonnie. Wave three, is practically confirmed to be the toys. We already got a teaser of Toy Bonnie. This is the teaser for Toy Freddy. He looks so good. He looks so cute. He, uh, I just want to snuggle with him. He's going to be so cuddly. The detail's insane. I, I, I just love it so much. I, I really want to have him, like, right now. I need, I need this Toy Freddy plushie. And we also got even more news about the toy plushies, specifically Toy Chica. Because earlier this month, Hex tweeted out, yes, Toy Chica will have a magnetic detachable beak. We wouldn't forget. So that's awesome, not only confirming a Toy Chica Hex plushie, but also that her beak will be detachable just like the real Toy Chica. And then someone also replied saying, I'm really hoping you're planning on making a Balloon Boy as well, but I doubt it. And Hex replied with a winky face. And that? I'm very excited about. I cannot wait to see a Balloon Boy Hex plushie. I really hope that they're not debating us here. He better have detachable balloon sign, balloon itself. But those are some teasers for the third wave of Hex plushies coming. 
I don't know when. It seems like they're still in the designing process for some of these characters, so I do think it's going to be, unfortunately, quite a while until we do see actual products of Wave 3. But I'll be patient, because I already love the designs, and I really, really hope we can get even more plushies coming in the future. Sticking with some merchandise news, we got some Funko stuff, but not a whole lot of Funko stuff. It's unfortunate, too, because Funko Ween just ended, which is basically a fair that Funko hosts across their social media, you know, announcing a whole bunch of products for various, you know, series. And FNAF was supposed to be in there. We were supposed to see a whole bunch of stuff. A brand new tie-dye wave, the fanverse plushies of Candy and Pop Goes, the brand new statues of Foxy and Lefty. But for some reason, FNAF was taken out of funko Ween because there was just so many products being announced, so... Unfortunately, we don't have as much Funko FNAF news as we were kind of hoping for, but at least we got the FNAF Pop Pez, right guys? Isn't this what, uh, isn't this what everyone wanted? Pez of FNAF? Okay, but the real FNAF Funko news is the lit- well, I mean, the, the Pez was real. I'm just saying that the, the big news of FNAF Funko is the, <laughs> the brand new Liberty Chica plushie. This is what it looks like, and I've seen kind of mixed reactions. I personally think they did pretty well with what the character is. Freaking Liberty Chica. What do you even do with a plushie for a character called Liberty Goddang Chica? It does look like the cupcake is only 2D, which I'm kind of disappointed by. But overall, I don't think it looks too, too bad. So the Liberty Chica plushie and also action figure, which we talked about on a past FNAF news video are coming out sometime this summer, so I just stay on the lookout for when these brand new products drop. And now for just some completely bizarre news, it looks like there's a brand new FNAF attraction opening in Ohio. So the Facebook page for Jurassic Mountain, which is a like a theme park, amusement fair, park, whatever, in Cleveland, Ohio, they announced that they're having a FNAF haunted house attraction. Now, originally, I wasn't going to mention this because I think you can definitely tell just by looking at the promo picture they, they released. This is not official, but I'm bringing it up because it's kind of been blowing up. So I just wanted to make sure you guys know that this is not official. And I mean, it definitely could be taken down. But at the same time, I'm kind of curious about what they're going to do, you know? So quickly, I'm going to go through the description of the attraction in case, I don't know, you live in Ohio or you want to go to Ohio to see this haunted house. Imagine walking into an actual family fun center like Chuck E. Cheese, but themed like Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. Imagine, if you will, that your group is the only group in the building besides our staff, obviously, and you are armed with only one flashlight for your entire group. You have to make it through every square foot of our 50,000 square foot building. For context, this is what a 50,000 square foot warehouse looks like. Through the dining area, the tunnels and slides of the jungle gym, wondering what could be hiding inside of the ball pit as you have to make your way through it. The Five Nights at Freddy's Haunted House is going to be the one stop you cannot miss this fall. Plan accordingly, because you won't be in and out in five minutes like most haunted houses. This will be a real experience. For context, uh, a ticket's like 50 bucks each, so uh... <laughs> I guess experience the FNAF haunted house at your own will. So yeah, definitely not official, but kind of interesting. And I'm curious to see if this actually will go through. And I really hope someone films it if they do go through it, because this sounds amazing. 50,000 square feet of pure FNAF haunted house. That's, that's insane. And now, ladies and gents, we move on to the final news topic for today, the FNAF movie. Because the other day, Jason Blum took to Twitter and you wouldn't believe what he said. He said, listen here, all you FNAF fanatics, well, specifically the doubters, stop doubting. So obviously it's not the big news that we were all hoping for, especially because a couple months ago, back earlier this year, Jason Blum said that we were quote, dangerously close to more FNAF movie news. And here we are, late May, we got nothing. Though there was one comment on this thread that got people pretty excited. Someone said, please make it as horrific as it's intended to be. Jason Blum replied with, it will be. This is exciting. The FNAF movie is going to be horrifying. It's going to be terrifying. It could be rated R. Of course, you know, that's not confirmed. 
But if they're trying to make it as horrific as some of FNAF can be, they certainly have a lot of interesting things to work with. Dead kids, brutal stabbing and killings, terrible springlock suit incidents, the bite. So this news has me very, very excited because I know they definitely could cater it towards younger fans and make probably a lot more money, but knowing that they're making it as horrific as it's intended to be in the games in the story of FNAF, that's very exciting. So let me know in the comments down below, what are you hoping to see in the FNAF movie? How do you feel about it being catered towards a more, you know, older, mature audience? And make sure to subscribe because like I said earlier on in the video, we got a whole bunch more FNAF news coming at you this week. But thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.